All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to tackle a topic, Michael, that I think we is one of the most asked questions in the history of, of our channel. I get asked it a lot. When people talk about um, building a set for themselves and you, they start to get into the intricacies of making shafts just feel or perform a, a specific way, hard stepping versus soft stepping yeah. comes up an awful lot. Definitely, definitely. I mean, as a obviously a club fitting company, and we custom build a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. There's times fitters, yourself, myself, anyone on staff, they'll be like, hey, I love X100 for you, but let's soft step it once, mm -hmm. and this is what it would feel like, and this is, what it, this is what it would perform like. It's a cool way to really dial in a shaft for someone else. It rarely happens mm -hmm. in our custom builds, but uh, it's a cool way to, to build a set of clubs. I think let's, let's maybe take a step back and just explain what hard stepping is, what soft stepping is, and, and that concept. Because to some of you, this will be a new, a new thing. To others, you will be sort of going, finally, someone's going to explain this in a way that I can understand whether this is either for me or something I don't even need to, to sort of worry about. So when it comes to any golf shaft, we, we have a, a sort of taper rate. We, it, the shaft is starts at a sort of wider diameter at the butt section, and then will progressively, at some form, and, and actually at various forms, it will reduce in size mm -hmm. as it gets down to the, the tip section. So when we're looking at hard stepping, what we're basically saying is the stiffest part of any golf shaft is gonna be sort of the wider part, right? So on a shaft like this, we have steps. Mm -hmm. Some are stepless. Um, some are have, have a step like a dynamic goal, this is a KBS uh, or a, a rifle shaft, yeah. it's completely stepless. stepless. Yeah. So what we're basically doing, when we're hard stepping specifically, we want less of this narrow section, mm -hmm. right? This, this sort of, you know, beyond the final step, we want as little material as we possibly can. And then if we want to really soften the shaft, if we're going to soft, soft step it, we want that step to be higher Right, so we have more of this narrow section and less of this wider section. Yeah. That's it simplified and dumbed down and, and basically the effect of having more of this narrow section is the shaft deflects more, bends more, kicks more, and it feels softer. And obviously the opposite is the case when it comes to reducing the amount of this sort of narrow section at the bottom of the shaft and then you've got more sort of wide steps or more of this kind of wider um, you know, diameter up at the top, Mikey. Definitely. And have to, you tried it? I have. I've soft-stepped uh, wedge shafts, um, yeah. the old tiger stepping. Of course, yeah. Uh, eight irons in my wedges. I like the feel of them. The mm -hmm. flight feels great. For me, soft-stepping, it's a weight that I want to play, but feels obviously just a little Correct. bit softer. I don't want something that feels too boardy or yep. stiff, especially when it comes down to, uh, to a wedge. Mm -hmm. um, but today's test will be cool. We've got KBS 125X. Is it KBS Tour? Tour, yeah. Okay, so we've got 130X. Yeah, and uh, you don't know what the soft one is, you don't know what the yeah. hard step one is, um, you just know what the standard one is. And I'm you know, not gonna look at them, like we say, you can, you can identify them if you really pay attention to the steps, but I'm really not, I'm not gonna do that. You're gonna shuffle them around yep. and then you know, blindly hand them to me. I'm gonna do my best to not look down, I'm just gonna look at the, the golf ball and, and obviously out to the target. And as we go, I'm going to try to see mm -hmm. if I can kind yeah, of feel yeah, the difference. Yeah. Um, and like you said, you know, when you do these blind tests, it is interesting. We've not labeled them in any way other than there's three colors. Yeah. There's a, a red, green. a green, and a, and a yellow. Yeah, yeah. traffic lights. Traffic system. lights. So who knows? I don't know. You, you're the only one in here that knows which yeah. one it is. We we'll want to dive in and see, is there launch angle differences? Is there spin rate differences? Because I think that's what... You guys watching are asking, can I get a little bit more spin if I soft step? Can I bring the flight down a little bit if I hard step? That's the question that we get all the time is people want the shaft to provide a solution and we're gonna you know, tackle that potential myth that it either does or doesn't do that job. Yeah, excited to do this. Okay, all right, let's, uh, you hand one to me and okay. then we'll call that baseline and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right, Mikey, talk me through it. You put uh, my PXG 0317 on yep. there. You've built it to my spec. Yep, six iron length, 37 and a half inches. Um, you've got 29 degrees aloft and 63 degree lie angle. Okay, yeah, um, one week, one up. Yeah, so this is 
at the, the test we're doing, it's going to be the same head. Obviously, they're all six iron length because mm -hmm. it would be built like that. Um, and yeah, you've got to you've got to point out what's a hard step, what's normal, and what's uh, and what's soft. Yeah, and, and ideally, I think um, ideally the numbers point it out. That would yeah. be the ideal case yeah. if if we're saying that there's something of of a significant difference, and then we'll don't want to you know spoil the the test on to share our thoughts as to what we see or what we think right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, we'll for do, sure. We'll sort of do that at the end, but. Um, it will be good to see if you take the exact same spec of shaft, but effectively a soft step shaft is a five iron shaft, mm -hmm. a hard step shaft is a seven iron shaft, and then in between the regular one is a six iron shaft. Yeah, yeah. That's what we have here. Yeah. Okay. Good not swing. Not a bad strike. Yeah. Not 100%, but not bad. Yeah. Now, you've played these shafts in the past? I have. I like them. I've always yeah. liked KB Tour for... Uh, for the feel. So you're yeah. familiar with the feel. You know what they do feel like yeah. and how they play for you. So. Always enjoyed them. A shaft by profile, Mikey, that typically launches a little bit higher than some other ones, maybe some of the kind of Project X profiles mm -hmm. would launch quite a bit, uh, quite a bit lower. Typically a bit firmer in the handle, a bit softer in the tip section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And balance point actually a little bit higher, higher yeah. as well in them. So, Good for players who like to maybe play a touch longer. Good swing. A lot more centered. Good strike. All right, Michael. Okay. I would say for me, there feels like a distinct weight difference between okay. you know, the first shaft and the second one. Don't know anything else yet, but when you handed me the first one, I'm like, oh, that's a little bit of something in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hand me this one, and it actually feels a bit more like my modus. Okay. Interesting. And, uh, and just initial uh, feel. So, yeah, it'll be uh, cool to see if it shows anything different in the delivery because we know the role, we're, we're kind of trying to discern dynamically what happens and what's different, but ultimately the player can react to what they feel uh, in terms of weight and kick as well. So that can move strike around, it can yeah. move path and angle attack around a little bit. I'll be interested to see if we can do that. Probably felt like the best one yet. Yeah, sounded great. Sounded good. Yep. I mean, the result, if I'm, I'm just looking at the carry number, and really you can see about the ball speed and stuff mm -hmm. as well, but I'm not seeing too much difference in the carry number. No. It's very, very similar. Yeah. You know it's anything different in... I mean, just right out of the gates, maybe a, a fraction more spin is just yeah. something I've seen started to see climb. a little bit of that. Good swing. Yeah, pretty good. I like that. Chance? Ooh. Nearly free drinks. Yeah, good strike. Really good strike. Thoughts on feel after the first Good, couple yeah, swings? Yeah, I like them. I definitely like this one. Really nice. I'm building you a new set of clubs. So this one, I would say, if I was to guess, now I've had all three, a little sample of just feeling yeah. all three. This feels like the middle one. Okay. The last one felt like the soft one. First one felt like the stiff one. Interesting, okay. So, um... See yeah. how it works after the It'll be the cool test. to see. I mean, yeah, yeah. It'd be, be really cool if I'm totally wrong and it just shows you how subjective these things are because what you feel, you know, what person to person really can change. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if people, fitters always ask you, how did that feel? Yeah. And some people can give you an answer and some people just, they have, they no, just, they they have, have no, no idea yeah. of feel, which is, which is yeah. funny because I'm, 
I would say I'm a feel pl player. Like, you can give me something. If the numbers are great, awesome. But if I don't like the feel, I'm just never going to play it. Yeah. So, But I certainly think the, the performance in the last one mm -hmm. seemed to be um, pretty decent. Sounded good. Strike, really good. Your thoughts on the feel from when you picked this one up at the start? Same. Actually, th this one in shaft two feel. Actually, they're starting to feel more similar to one another. Okay, interesting. Shaft one felt the most different. Mm. I don't know if that's just because after swinging a few, yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah. you, you kind of hold the first one; it feels heavy, and then once you're swinging, like you've got a little bit more of the feel in your hands. I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not too sure, but <clears throat> this one and the previous one feel both felt the best. Okay. Strike. Okay, so stolen back here. Let's see, let's see. Okay. All right, so red was baseline. Red was baseline, yep. What did we hit yellow? Was that the last one? That was the last one, yeah. And it's the stiffest. It's the stiffest, yeah, yeah. And green was your... The your, one I liked. The one you liked, yeah. A little soft step. Okay. KBS for you. So we went... So what did we do? We, we went... started with red. So we went standard to start with, then soft. we went soft, then we went stiffest. Yeah. Okay. And I thought it went stiffest. Yeah. Then and I think, I, then I, think I, I thought it was hard step, soft step, and then... Correct. Interesting. Well, I'm curious as to what the numbers say. So let's look at the, the data to start with. Mm -hmm. Efficiency, nothing in it. Club head speed climbed, I think, just that's just warming into yeah, the yeah. session a yeah. little bit. Don't really buy much into that. Dynamic loft almost the same. Comes yeah. down a little bit in the yellow. Nothing much in it. Path same. Angle attack call it same. Mm -hmm. Strike is, I mean, you can see it. The numbers or the dots are very very close to each yeah. other. Ball speed very very similar. Mm -hmm. um, Hard step one jumps a, a little bit. Yeah. Launch comes down, but we're being picky here. And that was what hard step? Do you see? Yeah, yellow's hard stepped. Green is normal. And, or sorry, uh, red is normal, green is soft. So I think, guys, if we're looking at this saying that I'm pretty much going to say any gain in speed was just me getting warm. Yeah. There's nothing in the spin. I mean, no, five, nothing. six, 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 five, six, six, five, seven. I mean, those are ridiculous. Then it drops a little bit. Yeah. As the strike moves up the head, let's not forget that. That's that is the strike moving up and in. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the reduction in gear effect from the sort of slightly low and slightly heely strike. That's, that's really what that is. Um, and we've pinpointed out of this head too, for you, you can get a bit of a flyer. There's some spin that kind of drops significantly from 58 to 53 yes, with some of the shafts. Yes, a little bit of that yeah. in it. Um, green dispersion was, was the best yeah. by far. Um, but guys, I think as, as we start to and sort of wind this in, in to what significant differences a player is likely to see. I felt differences, there's no doubt totally. about that. Yeah, yeah. The reality though is there's no differences in, in terms of the numbers. No, no. There's no 5600 with the, the kind of baseline and then the soft step one's 58 or 59 and the, you know, the hard step one drops down to 52 or 53. Yeah, yeah. There just is not that much variance, guys, when it comes to um, changing little subtle parts of hard stepping or soft stepping. It's much more on how you feel it affects you, how you like to sort of time the shaft. And, and timing is a huge part of it because how you feel it will influence how you release the golf club. But for this golfer, yeah, in a yeah. sample size yeah. of one, there's nothing there. Nothing. Uh, the other thing, the only thing you could take away from this is 
you that little bit tighter dispersion with the KBS green, which is the softer one. Mm -hmm. And if you like the feel of it and it's tighter dispersion, you're getting the same numbers across the board, then, yep. you know, go for it. Definitely. And remind me again, KB, soft stepped is the green. Is the green, yeah. So, yeah, by far, that was the one that I kind of had my time and... Yeah, it looks so much easier. ...really, really dialed yeah. with. I was, I was kind of second-guessing quite a bit with the, mm -hmm. the yellow one. Yep. I kind of had a bit of a left and a bit of a right in there, whereas, um, you know, the soft step one, I kind of felt where it would release and uh, it, it felt, felt really quite good. But in terms of the distance, in terms of the apex, we're not seeing anything there. No. No. Let's see what do we get in terms of land angles. 50.3, 50.4, and 50.2. Yeah. Peak heights, 121, 122, 123. Yeah. Same, I mean, same. If we, if we cannot convince you guys that the shaft is not going to influence the ball up and it's not going to influence the ball down on its own, I, I don't know yeah, what yeah. we've done for the last 25 minutes. <laughs> Uh, I think it has to be this black and white for you guys to understand that there's going to have to be other nuances. I mean, you know, I, I could step in the bay right now, give me two golf balls, and, and I could handpick two golf balls of choice. I could create a 1,000 RPM difference in spin totally. like that. One to the other. One yep. shot with one golf ball, one shot with other, and I can give you a 1,000 RPMs of difference right now. Golf ball is by far the most influential variable when it comes to spin increase and decrease. Uh, it really is the biggest, biggest thing. And it's obviously the, the one part of the, the equation that you use in every single shot. It has, has consequences with driver, irons, wedges, putter, totally. all through the bag. So um, I would round this one off into saying that don't be looking to your golf shafts to try to manipulate your ball flight up or manipulate your ball flight down, it really doesn't lie within yeah, yeah. there. Not in this small of a tweak with this hard step and soft step in co uh, concept. That's why we don't do it much. Yeah, exactly. That's why we really don't do it much. If, if we find that we don't have the right shaft in someone's hands, we're not going to take that same shaft and then go and hard step it or soft step. We're going to go and find a shaft that is better mm -hmm. for them. Totally. That's, that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to add the right components such as golf ball, CG in the head, the right loft in the golf club. All these other variables are, are so much more important that, you know, whether it's hard step or stepped or soft stepped or whatever is, is so far down the line of importance. That's why you get fit. You know, we have so many combinations. We're going to find you something. Definitely, definitely. Well, I think this one will raise a few eyebrows. There's a lot of uh, hobbyists. There's a lot of people who twink, uh, tinker with their clubs who probably get a little placebo out of mm -hmm. changing shafts and, and taking, you know, feeling like the shafts feel a bit stiff, so they take their, you know, five iron out and put it in the six iron head to get that soft step yeah. effect. Or vice versa, they take the seven iron shaft and then they pop it into the six, yeah. that type of thing, in yeah. order to create that, you know, smaller first step like we talked about. I would say placebo is what you'll get from it. The data would argue you're not going to get anything it. from a physics perspective. Totally. Okay, good stuff. We enjoy these ones, guys. We hope you do too. Very important to understand the, the, the true physics of what's going on. Something we sort of pride ourselves in doing at any mm -hmm. one of our stores is we get people who come in and ask us these questions. We've done tests like this multiple times. We know the answers. It's exactly what I would have said at the start is that you're not going to see anything here. Yeah, yeah you know, not a massive difference. Anyone who's followed the channel has heard me say that, has heard you say that, you say it in your Sunday q &As on Instagram all the time, shafts don't spin. You know, they, they don't, guys. They, they create feelings, they create load, they create sensations, but ultimately in, in true sort of deflection of difference in terms of delivered loft or angle of attack or strike point where you're gonna create those differences in launch speed and spin, it's very, very close. 100%. Good stuff. All right. Let us know if you want to see more videos like this where we dive into, I would call this somewhat of a myth buster totally. series, Mikey. Yeah, yeah. We get into these types of topics. Let us know, is this something that you have other topics that you want us to, to sort of discuss? And uh, I, I, you know, I would say we've all got that buddy in our group that thinks the shaft is making that much of a difference. Share this video with them you know, and, and see what they say. They'll probably debate you and say we're talking a lot of nonsense, but... Um, it's hard to argue with physics. Totally. Good Numbers stuff. don't lie. They don't. All right, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.